Hello once again everybody, I'm Necromanticer and we rejoin Bioshock here at this corner. I'm expecting the research camera for Peaches to be coming up any minute now, but still haven't come across that just yet. Still looking to be grabbing a hold of that. Ooh, an interrogation room. That's probably where we're looking for. Jesus However, the light is on. This I know. For the Ooh, Bible yes. tells me so. Yes. Little ones too. Here we go. You Did can use this to take pictures of enemies. Now give me some snap snaps on those spider splicers. And don't come back down here till you cut my research. Always do this. Kind of demanding. But it's definitely worthwhile. At the cost of film, we can take pictures of the splicers, and those will give us different benefits depending upon. Here, our first one is increased damage against the spider splicer variety, which is really great. He's going to mean we can actually down here in the deal park. with them. That's another one. Uh, you get less and less rewards as you consistently photograph the same uh, splicer. So you want to make sure you're getting a variety of different subjects. And I'm if they actually are performing an action when you take a picture, you get a nice bonus. So I'm trying to see if I he's going to do anything special, man. like throw those hooks and around. But oh, it's not looking like on, it. Then. Ugh, that is one ugly mug. That's three pictures. <gasps> oh. Looks like we're going to have to deal with him now. Hmm, let's reload this. We're at full ammo for this and the machine gun, so... Oh! Here we go! They have found us, and they are not too happy with us. Oh, yeah. However, I did clear out pretty much the entire walk up here, and... Oh! No, it looks like we're heading down a different route now. This rubble has been cleared away by some sort of explosion, so... Ooh. I'm just lonely. I'm I'm lonely. Let's take care of that camera. There we go. And are you still a threat? No, not for long. Just hold still for a moment. There we go. And they give us a nice little plasmid down here. Some ammo. A bunch of really great stuff. Let's see what we have. Security bullseye. Oh, okay. This turns uh, cameras and turrets on your side for a little bit. Not necessarily on your side, but uh, they target enemies naturally rather than needing to be hacked. Is there anything else that I can find up here? Pretty sure there isn't. Let's just heal up. Okay. Looks like that's all there is to be gathered here. We have the research camera and we can... Start bringing that down to Peaches now. Let's find a nice little way down. Sounds like there's a big daddy around here somewhere, so definitely want to go ahead and figure that out. There you have it, Tenenbaum really happy with the advancements Adam has provided her, and with good reason. If things weren't bad enough, it seems that even our water system sprung a little. Let's start this hack first. Sadly, Atlas had to interrupt, so we can rejoin that audio log in just a moment when we hacked this um, and are in a better place for casual listening. One more horizontal piece is all I need, and they give it to us. How lovely. So it'll give us a nice place to fall back to, and punish any splicers for coming back to that. Back to the audio log. Yeah, things weren't bad enough. Seems that even our water system sprung a leak. 
Such hubris just pervades the creation of Rapture. That's really the crux of the matter, is that this is the hubris of man, believing that they are God, and this whole city of Rapture is commentary on what exactly happens to man when he believes he is God. And believe me, it is not a pretty picture that the devs are painting here. This is quite a horrible, horrible city they've come up with, and as you can hear by these audio logs, definitely not one you'd want to live in. At least now. As the respectable Lapsable turned me away, I have turned to Fontaine smugglers in Port Neptune for supplies. Fontaine's men are pigs. They spit, they stink. But they deliver, and they don't ask questions. They're all terrified of Fontaine. He reminds me a bit of the Germans. So efficient. It wouldn't surprise me if he were soon running things down here. Yeah, as you can hear, she none too happy with Fontaine's men, but she sees the way the wind is blowing. You actually also get a bonus for multiple subjects, and so now I should be dealing bonus damage to these leadhead splicers. I get a picture of the other one since there were two, which gives me even more, and now I can blow them away at my pleasure. Oh, that didn't kill him, really? That's sad. There we are. Anybody else in here? Nobody else? Wonderful. Loot these guys up some. Bunch of stuff in here. Really glad I came down this side passage. Anything on these? Oh, another one of these audio logs. The death penalty and rapture. Council's in an uproar. Rights in the streets, they say. But this is the time for leadership. Action must be taken against the smugglers. Any contact with the surface exposes rapture to the very parasites we fled from. If you stretch necks or a small price to pay for our ordeals. And that's just it, though. He's sacrificing his ideals in order to uphold them. It's a very strange paradox that they present with Andrew I'm Ryan's character. Monster. Oh. What's going on here? Come back. Come back. Come back here. Oh. No. Oh, let's take a picture of the research camera. See if that gives us anything special. It's just a C grade picture, but it still should give us the first upgrade. Most single pictures do. Oh dear. Oh, I meant to switch to a weapon. Let's see if I can switch it out fast enough. I do. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, and I do want to get a picture of the spider splicer here. And I get an action shot, which is, again, a bonus. One more picture should give me the next research level. Wonderful. Now, whenever I loot spider splicers, I can use their organs as health kits. So... They have just become a very, very valuable enemy indeed, because I can now heal myself up after every time I loot one of them. But again, they, they really present a paradox with Andrew Ryan's character in that he is the ultimate idealist, willing to sacrifice so much to achieve the end goal of his own personal paradise here in Rapture, and yet, at the same time, he destroys his own ideals in order to reach his goal. It's it's very strange and it makes for a very compelling story. All these comparisons to the very beginning of time, Adam, Eve, Eden, as we just heard with one of those audio logs, it's both very primal and at the same time incredibly technological and sophisticated. It's really great how they switch between the two. Oh, this guy's gonna be a bit of an issue, but hopefully I can switch out. Oh yeah, headshots, very wonderful, especially since I got the damage buff to them. Oh, always be snapping away, especially in the early game when you can get very 
very good uh, bonuses from them very quickly. Oh, this is one of my favorite tonics. It allows me to uh, research certain searches and hopefully get better supplies from them. Oh, I should probably switch to my regular pistol rounds. That was a mistake. I don't need to buy anything just yet, so... Let's see if there's anything around here. I'm very happy with all my tonics and plasmids at present, so... I'm not gonna bother with that. Pick up the Eve... Oh. <laughs> that was a waste. And I don't need any of the alcohol. Always check under the stairs. They're very tricky about that. I am very much a secrets-oriented gamer, so I like to... Be careful about such things. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installed in the bathroom plumbing. The thought of me wife and child hiding in that filthy submarine makes me blood boil. Help me get them to safety and I'll be in your debt for life. He has a nasty habit of interrupting. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installed in the bathroom plumbing up in his Cox Park Avenue digs. Oi, says he. What's with all the brass fittings? General contractor had me down for the tip. Well, I says, I suppose it's the contractor then who will be bailing out your loo once a fortnight, is it? If it's price you're worried about, I'll be picking up the brass, so not to worry, Squire. Then why would you be doing that, says he? Well, Mr. Ryan, profit or not, no man bells water out of privies built by Bill McDonough. Next day I finds out, I'm Ryan's new general contractor. There you have it. You can see Andrew Ryan really does value personal effort and the objectivist ideals, but it's just so strange because at the same time, he is this insatiable control freak who really is willing to go to nearly any lengths to protect his baby here in Rapture. This experiment of his, this idealistic adventure. There's just a lot of really interesting things that they do with Andrew Ryan's character, and they just keep building on them. You're throughout the game wondering whether or not he's really a villain. Whether or not Andrew Ryan's way would have been better for Rapture. Now that Fontaine has seized some of the power here in Rapture, things have very much gone to crap. This has not been an improvement. Nothing was gained by Fontaine's rise to power, his climb through the ranks. Rapture's changing, but Ryan can't see the wolves in the woods. He's Fontaine fella. He's a crook and a proper tea leaf, but he's got the Adam, and that makes him the governor. He's sinking the profits back into bigger and better plasmids, building them Fontaine poorhouses. Fontaine recruiting centers. Before we know it, both gonna have a, an army of splicers. We're gonna have ourselves a whole heap of miseries. The writing has been there this whole time. The warning signs very clear to see. This Fontaine fellow is no friend of Rapture, and yet he understands the tricks and wiles of the system. He represents what is essentially the psychopath, Who said the that? remorseless, which is one of the few things that really Mr. breaks Codwell? the objectivist ideal. Uh, when thinking about objectivism and capitalism, any sort of psychopath or one without a conscious of their own, conscience of their own, is at a very distinct advantage in that it is the conscience of man, the self-guided morality that... Oh, let's, let's get rid of that. Oh well, we can deal with it. But it's the self-guided nature of man that leads to the utopia that is at least envisioned by objectivists. And since... Fontaine actually breaks from that and has no self-guided morality of his own. He really breaks the system. It's the absolute worst situation that could 
uh, befall in such a culture as Rapture, and they definitely pay the price for their misguided ways, I suppose. At least that's the message we're supposed to get out of this. Diane, my dear, I'm sorry, but I'll be late again tonight. Rosenberg is demanding to speak about this Fontaine business. I'm trying to build a proper financial market, and this idiot keeps going on about Adam this, genetic modification, that. I'll go spend an hour pretending to pay attention to the poor fellow and be home as soon as I can, Andre. And as you can see, Andrew Ryan is very dismissive of the whole thing. He's still so focused on his oh, there's stuff up there. He's still so focused on his ideals and controlling the economics of Rapture that he's really falling out of touch with the culture that is growing up with the advent of Adam. And that's one of his biggest failings, is that he couldn't keep up with the times. The market changed around him and he lost control, and he refused to lose control, which ended up in terrible things happening in the war between him and this Fontaine upstart. Let's see if we can get an idea of where we're headed. Let's check upstairs before we continue on. Ooh. That's not good. Are you ever bringing old Peach them snappies, or are you just sightseeing? Oh, hush you. I'm working on it. Where I can see him. Let's get you in the picture. Nice little action shot, but it's my first picture of the Nitro Splicer, so it's going to get me the next bonus either way. Let's see if I can zap him a good one. Where'd he go? You think Did he you blow himself up? With this? Down on the ground. Down on the no, no, no. You ah! are saying goodnight. Ow. Forgot about that part. No matter. No, oh, this looks like a interesting place. And it sounds very dangerous, so let's keep our eyes open. Hmm. I am full up on proximity mines, so let's actually lay one out behind ourselves, because I have a suspicion that after hacking this chest that... Not this chest, but this safe, that bad things are going to happen to me. I'm going to go with a little bit of hubris here and see if I can hack it myself. Looks like I made the right decision. Oh, let's let's fix that. Let's get this there, and we just need a single upturn piece. There we go. Get this. What's inside? A bunch of electric buck, a lot of piercing auto rounds, and an EVE hypo. Very happy with that. Very content. Nothing else in here? Is it really just for that? Oh, and some more electric buck. Very happy with this. Really glad I came here. here to visit this oh, there's another spider know. splicer. I am the Let's get a picture of him and lay him down. Lord. Ooh. Maybe I didn't want to do that. Sounds like that should have been doing. Head on back to Fontaine Fisheries when you're ready, would you kindly? Yes, yes, I'll be going. But there's so much stuff around here. Look, there's a there's a door control right there. I want to get in there, see what's in there. There's a bunch of great stuff here in Rapture, and I want to see it all. Oh! Hello. Mr. Ryan, I believe in Rapture. But that doesn't mean we always win. Fontaine Futuristics is the biggest thing going in Rapture. So let me be plain. When we arrest that Taurag Fontaine for his thieving and smuggling, we must make it clear that we won't touch his business interests. We sit on the council because these poor sods trust us. Not because God gave us a chair. You can even see Andrew Ryan's own hierarchy kind of folding in around him as they see kind of the mistakes being made. The breaks with the ideal. Because everyone here in Rapture who wasn't born here explicitly, came here because... Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way to do it. They came here specifically because of that objectivist ideal. I believe that this was 7533. We heard it last time, but uh, let's see if that does it for us. Yes, beautiful. Let's get him out of my way as well. 
getting a little bit frustrating to deal with. Now let's see what's inside. Hopefully there'll be another... Oh. Clearly things did not work out too well for this happy couple. We saw our Masha today. Ugh. We barely recognize her. That's her son said. You're crazy, I tell them. That thing? That, that is our Masha? But he was right. She was drawing blood out of a corpse by Fontaine Fisheries. And then when she was done, she walked off hand in hand with one of those awful golems. Masha! Really a sad story there. The fact that they would take someone's daughter away from them. Uh, ooh! Hello! That's... Who's that's there? not good. I want it. It's mine. You can't have it. Let's get this under wraps so that we can turn it against whoever was trying to use it against me. But really, that, that scene is one of the more intense vignettes that you can find throughout Rapture. It really calls home just the horrible circumstances and the rampant abuses that ran rampant down here. This was not the paradise that people came expecting, and it really disappointed people on a fundamental level. And one could argue... Oh, gosh. One could argue that this sort of paradise just simply cannot be in the real world, and that this was what the experiment was doomed to failure as either way, but not everyone would agree with that. Many people see it in different ways, and oh, here we have a big daddy. Let's see what this Rosie can show. Oh, it was not. There we go. See what this Rosie can do for us. It's the first picture, so it doesn't matter what it's doing. It's still going to give us our damage upgrade. Does it not have a little sister with it? Huh. Usually they have little sisters along the way with them. Perhaps he's going to pick one up. Let's see if I can follow along to see if he plucks one out of the wall. That'll also give me a chance to show you how the big daddies actually relate to the little sisters. See this little facade here? These are actually found throughout Rapture, and he's completely ignoring it. But these actually form little pipeworks. As you can see, it goes into the wall there. It's recessed. And the little sisters use these to scurry about Rapture and make their way between the relevant... How I really cleared out all the, uh... Huh. Oh well. Looks like... He's not going to be providing me any little sisters today, but the little sisters use these to travel about Rapture unseen and unmolested, so that they can get to the corpses and re-harvest the atom from them. Because Adam really... No, 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 this one's mine, you can't have it. Getting really annoyed at everybody trying to mess me up with their electronic machinations, but... At the same time, I can use them against their masters to really great effect. Let's see if I can take a picture of him in action. And I get multiple subjects. So I'm almost to my next upgrade with them. Oh, the turret even got in on that. So let's take him out quite nicely. Uh, let's see. Some electric buck. That comes from... Oh, I'm she full up on electric her. buck. She's a right pain in the neck. But she's a beauty. And she means the world to me. I can't help feel God's punishing me for bringing her and Patrick to this place. I thought this would be a better life for us. I'm, I'm Can you imagine okay. a bigger fool than that? Uh, no, Atlas, you really messed up. I mean, you were following your ideals, but clearly that did not work out too well for you. Maybe you want to consider just a nice little vacation next time. Hmm. Another Rosie. Hopefully we can get something nice off of him. 
See, this is what I was looking for. That pounding he was doing is actually him calling a little sister, and you can see it crawling out to come up and meet him. And together they're going to go about gathering Adam. The big daddy acting as the bodyguard, and the little sister acting as a mini little recycling station for the Adam. At least that's how it would go down if I wasn't here to, well, interfere. I'll say it as it is. Let's set up some proximity mines around the place. And I'm... Oh, no, let's also switch over to frag grenades. And we're just about ready to go in on this guy. Electro bolt. Just a bunch of electric buck to the face. Hopefully he's gonna be a little bit preoccupied with my... Oh, well that didn't last long. But it bought me some time. Oh, jeez. He's a nasty little fella. Let's get an action shot. Oh, he's throwing a proximity mine, so I need to get out of the way real quick, like. Get some more buck in his face. And let's finish him off with just some pretty accurate shots. Ooh, I took a pounding in that fight, but I'm definitely going to call it as worth it. Oh, I'm finally full up on money as well, so if I can find a... Uh, can I pick that back up? <laughs> what if I tell Kinesis this? No, so much for that idea. Oh well. Oh, hello there. Now the eggs are in the scramble. We picked up Timmy Yates right after midnight. Either Ryan will be taking down Fontaine, or Fontaine will be taking down Ryan. We'll be uh, interviewing poor Timmy needs Fontaine Fisheries. You're up for entertainment. The code's 5380. 5380, yeah, that was the uh, one that I hacked down below. You can also take pictures of the little sisters, and the uh, upgrades that you get for that will actually be direct upgrades to your person. Small little increase to max life and whatnot. And let's rescue the little sister before we close out for the episode. Finally managed to get the research camera. Took down another big daddy. A lot of progress here. Bunch of new... Yes, of course, little girl. Snap a picture while she's turning away. But made a bunch of progress, and so I'm actually very happy with how things... Oh, dear. Okay. I'll get to next episode right after I make myself safe, but again... A lot of progress here, very happy with how things are turning out. Things are kind of looking up for once, and it's a little bit strange because Rapture is not known for its providence. Whew, glad I decided to take the shorter way around, otherwise I would have get, gotten caught in that little subsection there. But that gives me the hack. He doesn't look like he wants to play nice. Oh. Is that an action shot? It is wonderful. Soon enough, I'll be getting... Hmm. Oh, bollocks. I was really hoping that would work out. Not so. But here we go. Now I can come in and get a nice little headshot on him as he's... Oh, there we go. No, open up, open up. Whew. Really bad things happening to me, but... That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll rejoin me next time when we actually go meet Peaches again and head on into Fontaine Fisheries. Have a good day, everybody.